Okay, well every once in a while you have one of those days when you come up with something that, uh, or you come across something that you can't understand and you don't understand why it worked or how it works, but there it is right in front of you. And today was one of those days. I was doing a replication of all Moz's CFL circuit that uses no 5.5 timer chip, just transistors. He posted it on the energetic forum and he couldn't quite figure out why it worked either and wanted somebody to replicate it so I thought I'd give it a shot. And I worked all day on it. And I had to move a few things around. I could not get it to work the way he posted it. But uh, it's close. And uh, I added a um, 5 mega ohm potentiometer on this base of this small transistor, which replaces the 555 timer chip, basically. And then I put a rheostat here to control the current coming out of the drive battery. But basically, it's like my CFL 555 timer uh, circuit only no c 555 timer just use a little transistor here drives another transistor a bigger one which switches the whole thing in through the ignition coil and makes the CFL light go on these circuits if you energize quickly an I ignition coil uh, with 12 volts it lights a CFL that's what this whole project's been about now the thing that I found very interesting about this circuit was when I got to playing with the ground, he had the ground hooked up here at the emitter on a little transistor, and it worked, but it didn't work very good. So I played around with it, and guess what? I got the ground, the earth ground, going right into the high-tension lead coming off the ignition coil into the CFL, and it got that phenomena where the CFL got brighter and the amp draw went down. I've never seen that happen before, and it's backwards the way it should be. It should be going into the negative but it's going into the positive to make it happen, which means I'm getting something out of the ground. And uh, I ran this over and over and over again to make sure I wasn't picking up spurious uh, electricity from the house or something. It's not. It's, uh, it's ground. Something's coming in from the earth. And what, what is going on over here is this is my earth ground here, and it's just a stake in the ground outside the door there. It goes down about three feet into the earth, and comes in here through this uh, ig um, extension cord. It's just wire. And then goes across here, and I'm going to be plugging it into the high tension lead of the coil. So let me turn this on. The way this circuit works, it's got no 5.5 timer chip. It's got no uh, um, real resistors except for these potentiometers, and it's got no capacitors. It just uses a little tiny switching transistor here to switch a bigger transistor and then the power gets driven out through these big power transistors. I'm controlling it with a 25 ohm rheostat right here. This is the, the way I control the current coming out of the drive source. My source battery is 12 volt. It's my amp draw right now. Nothing. And this was the 5 mega ohm potentiometer that I added at the base of this little transistor to adjust the frequency on it it actually was very important to make this work the way I set it up. Without that, it wouldn't work. So let me turn this on. Here's the CFL just came on. And uh, see the amp draw? It's probably 200 milliamps right here. And uh, I've got this dial all the way down. I can make that go up a little bit by turning this up. You see it flicker some, too. Now what I'm going to do now is connect this ground lead that comes around here. And normally you'd connect it to the negative of the coil. You'd ground out through the earth a, a better ground with the negative on the coil. But on this circuit, I'm going to the high tension coming off the ignition coil. And watch, this, watch the light. And that's going right here to the high tension lead on the light. And there's no current in this. This is just grounded. This is If you put a meter on this, you'd get nothing out of it. This is just an earth ground. And that goes up. Now here was the other thing. Watch my amp draw. It goes down. And this is what Bodkins found out early, early on on these experiments when he was doing earth grounds. Was you can make your, your amp draw go down and your brightness go up by doing this. So anyway, this was a tremendously um, successful experiment using this circuit. I just had to adjust a few things. 
and to make it happen. And using this um, this earth ground was amazing. I still don't quite understand it. We've been studying it a lot, but uh, here was an example of the whole thing. And um, that's pretty darn good light coming out of this thing for probably two or three hundred milliamps. Very successful. Thank you very much, RMOS. I hope we can get this all dialed in and figure out how this all works. Really amazing stuff.